The daily workout has been suspended. Gyms ordered closed due to the coronavirus outbreak. But many consumers complain they're still paying. I was kind of shocked to see at the, at the end of the month uh, there was my monthly charge. Casey Hansen so. works out at this Move Fitness in Happy Valley. It's been closed since March 23rd, but that hasn't stopped the gym from charging her credit card for next month, April's dues. You know, I'm sure they're facing the same struggles we all are, but you know, these nickel and dime things are gonna start adding up for people, especially as folks are struggling. Casey has called and emailed the company, but no luck, and so far, no refund. Move Fitness has multiple locations in Oregon and Washington. When I tried to reach the company for a response, To be fair, some gyms have been good about notifying customers about easy automatic account freezes, but others have not. On social media, many customers around the country complain they want a refund since gyms are closed. But the reality is people are pretty unhappy that they can't actually go to the gym and a lot of them were not able to reach the gym. That was a big problem. They couldn't get through and the gym wasn't responding to their phone calls or their emails. Oregon's Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum said her office has received multiple complaints, including billing issues at 24 hour fitness. Her office reached out to the company, which has since agreed to help resolve these billing issues. We got them to agree to send an email to all their members, notifying them that payments would be suspended effective April 16th. If you want to cancel or get a refund on your gym membership, you should start by contacting the gym directly. If that doesn't work, you can stop payment by working with your bank or credit card company. And finally, file a complaint with the Oregon Attorney General. It's important to put it all in writing so you've got some strength to your argument. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.